What's going on, Game Dad fam? I'm Josh, the Game Dad, and this is more Pokemon Trading Card Game. And I'm gonna take on a Joshua, because he and I, we got some business to take care of. He handed me my first loss. Not okay with that. I'm gonna get him back this time, though. I feel good. Feeling good about this one. Turn down my volume a little bit because somehow between episodes I set it to destroy your eardrum. Okay, this hands a little. This hands a lot of bit better. I can very much still work with this. I will start with Pikachu. I'll put Caterpie on the bench, and that's good. And I have scoop. Ooh, please tell me this guy's weak to lightning. Please. Nah! Why don't you let me go first, game? I think Seal is weak to electric. If he is, unless Homeboy plays another Pokemon next turn, I win. And seal is electric. Cool. So, I gnaw. The only way I don't win immediately... If he plays a Pokemon, then it becomes a battle. He didn't. I win. That's game. This is the whole rematch, folks. Because <laughs> I'm about to hit him for 60. So, I realize I never explained... Okay, so... On the Pokemon, you can see on the bottom, retreat cost, and then weakness and resistance. When you hit a Pokemon with their weakness, your attack deals double damage. When you hit something and there's a resistance, it subtracts a flat 30 damage from the result. So if the attack did 30 or less, it deals nothing. Uh, which is really, each one has its own merits. Um... Because of weakness, my 30 damage attack dealt 60, and he's knocked out, and he's got nothing left on the bench, and that's game. Oh! It kind of feels good, though, that he didn't even have a chance. Ooh, Electrode. This one's actually pretty good. This electrode's actually not that bad. 90 HP and you can deal 20 for 2 colorless or deal chain damage for 3 lightning. The Game Boy Vaporeon. Also good. It's basically like the same kind of stats as Scyther, except that has a retreat cost and it's water type and it only has 60 HP. It's really not amazing, but <laughs> that you can do everything purely colorless is handy. Almost our Executor, which is really strong in the right kind of a deck. Usually with a Venusaur. Uh, Kabuto. Oddish! I think there's someone who I can trade an Oddish to to get a Vile Plume. But I. But I just got a Vile Plume. Which is actually kind of a, a handy Pokemon. It's one of the few Pokemon that lets you heal a little bit of damage at a time, which is really good. And it's... Vileplume is a big risk, big reward Pokemon. Another Vaporeon. That's actually kind of handy. Like I said, is this the... Be yes! Mankey is potentially worth throwing in the deck. Just because if I have him on the bench... He can use his Pokemon power to peek, and I can look at my prizes that are face down. I'm not going to throw him in right now, but he is something that is... He's the kind of card that it's worth just throwing into your deck one or two of, purely for information. You lost? How could you? Was it Gamdad? I will be your next opponent. Hi, Amy, the master of the water club. Would you like to duel Amy? Yes. Six prizes. Let's go.
is the boss fight music. This was not a time to get a bad hand. Please don't have a lot. It's gonna be an uphill battle. But I go first! Okay. Little... Little grace periods. I'll take it. What do we got? What do we got? We got Horsey, Squirtle, and Goldeen, and everything is weak to Lightning. I might have a shot here. If I can pull a Magneton. I'll actually be in pretty good shape. So that's good. Um... So the first time I ever played... Oh, it's just giving up on the horsey. Just like, horsey, you're gonna die. You're, there's no saving you. I will also be good if I could get a Bulbasaur. So that's good. Um, the first time I ever played this game, I got it for my... I forget which. It was, I, it was a birthday gift. I do remember that. Show me Megaton! Uh, well, it's a backup Pokemon. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. I'm officially complaining. You better flip the tails, dude. So I got it as a birthday gift! <laughs> and, um... I remember I was so excited, like, I went up to- See, the thing is, Pokemon in general, I have this thing, like, when I was younger, I would get it as a gift, and, like, that was my life for the period that followed. Uh... I don't know why I attacked, it was pointless. I was wasting everyone's time. Uh, so with this one, I just started, I played it, and I played it, and I played it. I played it so much. That I, I like, play it. And I got everything except the two phantom cards. I got all the promotional cards and everything. I'm gonna put out Mysterious Fossil, let me just say that real quick, to buy myself an extra turn to maybe find a Metapod, or a Bulbasaur... Or just some freaking luck. Anything. I think I'm losing here. I'm gonna have to rematch, homegirl. That's okay. Um, I got every card except the two phantom cards. And I was like... I have gotten... Everything except two. I've got all the promotional cards. I got this, I got that. What am I missing? And then I remembered that I read a thing... In the game that was like... There's two cards you can only get through card pop. And just immediately it clip. Let's go for it, let's go for it, let's go for it. I know that sound effect! Ha ha! The battle is on! Come on, give me some Electabuzz, give me something good. Okay, we got Ivysaur, we got Venusaur, we got we got Eevee. Coughing actually can potentially save me. And I'm gonna start getting him online. So for- Come on, Caterpie, buy me a turn! No! You poor jerk. You fought your hardest. But you could not save me. The real problem here is I'm going to be spending, even if I do take out this War Turtle, this whole match is going to be me just clawing my way back. But, so essentially right here, the best thing that could happen is if I can confuse... Yeah, if I can confuse War Turtle... 
but now we get a heads. Ten, ten. Yeah, there's no way for me to survive otherwise. So, well, no, I mean, I will. I'll survive the hit, but energy remove. I don't like you. I really don't like you. Now, granted, War Turtle is guaranteed to die. Lightning on Pikachu. But I wanted to be able to try and confuse him because if I confused him and he failed on the flip, it would leave coughing out and then coughing could put a status on whoever's next up. So that's frustrating. Amy's getting low on prizes, but I'm still going to buy a turn with Eevee. Because Eevee will survive a bite no matter what. And I'm going to try and see if I can get one more energy on Pikachu. Or... Double colorless. Believe it or not... Hold on. Let me check something real quick. Tail wag. If Ed's a defending Pokemon, can't attack Eevee. Benching or evolving either Pokemon... Okay. So, tail wag doesn't work. So I just quick attack and that's game. I honestly didn't even need to quick attack. Because he dies automatically from poison damage. Now you see why coughing is useful. Uh, give me some lightning! Oh, ooh! If I had him earlier, that would have been really handy. No, 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 That's her Okay. Attack. Cannot catch a break! Okay, if I can survive this turn... 100 G2 Goldine. Uh, if I can survive this turn and I don't get confused... Oi! I'll put out Pikachu. Okay. If I can... Get that! Okay! ba da ba da I don't think it really changes anything based on the Pokemon I have out, but... It's a lot better than where I was. Professor Oak is really good. Just, just take it rid of your hand no matter how few cards and automatically jump. 30 damage hits now. I gotta really hope. My best bet is actually to put out Kangaskhan because I have Scoop Up. And now I can finally, genuinely buy myself some time. He can take two hits, and then I can scoop him up and put him right back out. Because the most that Lapras can do is 30 damage. That's the most. So... And even if she tries to confuse me, I just won't do anything. And Potion just bought me yet another... Well, it can. I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, it'll buy me one more turn, but it's self-defeating. It will be useful when I have an actual fighting dude out. For now, I'll take that hit, and then I can scoop him up, and basically it's like nothing ever happened. Grass energy. What do we got over here? Seeking, Goldene... I really don't have a choice but to go with Thunderjolt Pikachu. So I'm going to scoop up 
a Kangaskhan. Toss in Pikachu. Play Kangaskhan again. And... Thunder Jolt and really hope for heads? Okay, so now basically I'm hoping against hope. Oh no, Sea King. I don't think I'm gonna pull this one out, you guys. Because Sea King's about to knock me out. And. Magnemite really can't do it fast enough. I want to hope is if I can draw. Just to win. If I can get. I don't even know what. Um, Goldeen. Sure. Because it can only deal 10 damage with no effects, so. with the War Turtles, my guy. If I could get a Double Colorless Energy and a Jolteon. So, for those who don't know, this is not a very efficient deck. Mostly because it has a whole lot of all different types of things. A better deck would be a lot of 4-3 sets, or even a couple 3-2 sets but more focused so that you're more likely to get, like, this and then evolution. Yeah, I lost. Because even if I use a potion, I die immediately, so. Alright. Yeah, 17 minutes. We'll, we'll do another crack at it. Let me see if there's any, if I can hone my deck even slightly more. More specifically on the on the electric front. Is there anything else even worth adding? Now. Nah. That's the problem with the early game of these like old Game Boy card games like this or, you know, any of the old Yu-Gi-Oh games or things like that. You're just, you're making do with what you have. And what you have is not necessarily great. Let's try one more time. Aren't you Gamdad? So you decided you wanted to deal me? I don't know when she became a valley girl, but she did. Let's accept it. Alright. This one's for all the marbles. This one's for the real. For the real real. For the real, for the truth. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, two energy. Coughing. That's actually not that bad a hand. What I really should have done was start out with Pikachu and let him be able to take hits. But it is what it is. You know what? I'll look at it as an advantage. Four Pokemon means she can't have a lot of other things. But she goes first. Ten damage out the gate. That's fine. So I'm about to be able to throw some status effects on it. I will gust of wind over to one of those squirtles. Both because it slows her down and because 
let's be fair, I want to try and cut off a war turtle before it's a war turtle. Squirtle! So yeah, it can deal 10 damage to me, but now... I forgot about that. And I don't have full heals. So this is just me at the mercy of the game. Alright, the absolute best thing I can draw right here would be an Eevee. Well, actually, it would be a potion. No, Eevee. It would still be an Eevee. If I could draw an Eevee, that would be perfect. Because then I could play... Could gust of wind to the other squirtle. I'm gonna. Now I can plus power. Here's my problem. Professor Oak gets me seven new cards, which is really handy. But... Do I want to throw away that Jolteon, which may be one of the best things I have here? I'm gonna plus power because if I hit heads, even Phil, uh, if she puts an energy on it and tries to attack, it comes back to my turn, and I'll be able to hit whoever's next. That's another thing. When you evolve, it gets rid of whatever... Yes! Okay. Perfect. It gets rid of whatever status effect is on your Pokemon. So, Foul Gas. No matter what, it's beneficial. Perfect. Now, next turn, I can evolve Eevee into Jolteon, and I can Professor Oak and get a whole new hand. So, really, the best thing here is if I get, like, any kind of energy. Energy. Oh, wait. It's our turn. If I get an energy, I can play it on whoever, and then that's fine. Right now, Coughing's basically just holding off this War Turtle who's poisoned. No matter what, it's gonna be 10 damage to her turn, 10 damage coming back to me, and I can I get free ups on whoever's next. Um, I'm not gonna s hold on to scoop up. So, Professor Oak, get myself a whole new hand, and a lot more options. Okay. Bulbasaur and Ivysaur, Mysterious Scam, Fossil, that's actually... It's not optimal, but if things are going to go like this... I'm not going to put it out yet, I'm going to wait. And I got Gambler in my hand to potentially get a whole nother hand. So that's good. So now it's going to come back to me. Jolteon is able to attack, so I'm just gonna keep going here because, essentially... It's probably not optimal, but I'm trying to get stuff out of my hand so I can gambler and see if I get lucky! It's okay, it's okay. Electabuzz. But that's actually fine. Coughing will not is not likely to make it to the end of this battle. So this essentially allows me to have a good solid Pokemon for this fight to replace him when he goes down. She's probably gonna try and hit me with Confuse Ray. She may water gun, but I'm gonna yeah. If I get confused, I'm just not gonna do anything. Let her take damage. Attack. 
10. At best, she can deal 20 back, so 10 and 10, 10 and 10. I'm in a good place right now. No need to mess with it. Uh, I will put that on Ivysaur. Yeah. I'll just... I'll just let, let coughing sit out there and tank hits. Now, the one thing is I could try and do it this turn. No. No. Just let him sit out there and tank the hit. Whoever comes in next is pretty much guaranteed, is guaranteed a... Uh, guaranteed a Lapras kill. So that's fine. So coughing's knocked out, but Lapras is ba is about to die. Jolteon's ready to roll. There's some coin flips involved, but I'm fine with that. Lapras dies no matter what happens going back to her turn, even if I miss both coin flips. Uh, Electabuzz goes down, and now the majority of what's left in my deck, there's going to be a lot of energy in there, so I'll be getting that, so that's very good. I'm not even going to... I will. Wait, let me see something. Does he have a... Yeah, he has a retreat cost of one. Which sucks, because he has a double colorless, so... I gotta get rid of both for it, but... So now... We'll see how lucky I get with get flips, but... This is basically the rough part. If I can survive this Seedra... Agility... Oh, God. Okay, if he flips heads, I can't damage him. It's okay. It's okay. All I need is, like, one lightning energy. Because even if he killed me, uh, it, I can... I can... Saw it out. War Turtle's not ready. Goldeen's not really ready, so... And also, if she misses agility this turn, she's basically up the creek. Okay. Now I can tag her back and we're good. Although, Jolteon is basically a sitting duck. But, lightning energy, okay, on Electabuzz. Start getting him ready, because inevitably I'm going to need him. If I can make both kicks, hey, I can take out Seedra. If I can make one... It's okay! It's okay. I'm gonna die here. Well, Jolteon's gonna die here. But if I can get an energy, Electabuzz is able to one-hit KO anything else that she's got for me. Are you serious? And agility works no matter what the next Pokemon is. So, okay. Agility is a bit frustrating. I'll send in the Mysterious Fossil to buy me a turn. Now you see why I like that card. Because if I can just draw one more energy, Electabuzz can uh, come in and just one-hit KO. You may uh, So, agility is during your opponent's next turn, not the defending Pokemon. That's why I didn't send in Electabuzz, because he would have just taken another hit. So that's why now I'm basically just going to see who can survive... Let me examine. Oh, if you press select, you can examine. Raichu can take a couple hits. And it's going to be quite some time until he's ready to do anything. So realistically, he's my best guy to send in. Because he could take... Let me see how much Seedra can do. Water gun... Up to 20. So you can do up to... You can do 30. But, it, but but Raichu can take at least two hits. So. I'm going to evolve Magnemite because 
I just need to run into two energy. I'm getting horrifically energy sh slammed right now. And that's where the problem lies. If I had some energy, this would be going differently. But... And really, when I'm sitting here waiting for that, and for me to draw an energy. If I draw an energy, I can retreat Raichu and pop in... Elect... Electabuzz. And kill Cedra and keep it going. Here's the problem with stalling, is she also gets to build up! A grass or a lightning right now would be... magnificent. Thank you! Okay, so now, grass energy on Electabuzz. Let me just take a look over here real quick. Cedra can agility, so there's no way... So yeah, now I'm gonna start just running through. Electabuzz comes in, and Thunder Punch. Now, here's what sucks. If I hit Tails, he deals 10 damage to himself. But it don't matter! Yo, damn! And now she, uh, I believe everything that's left on her side of the field has 60 health, so he can one-hit KO all of them. Switch is handy, in case he starts taking damage. Do not put it... War Turtle, that's fine. 70! You jerk! Now I gotta hope for a heads. If I get a heads, it's a one-hit KO. Or if I get a plus power? Nope. That's fine. I might not have any plus powers left. I'm not fully paying attention, I'll be honest. Like, uh, counting things. Uh, when you... If, on people who play at high level, like, they know to a T what they got out, what they got ready, what's in the deck. I was never the best player. I was always, like, one of those guys I was like, I was the best amongst my group of friends. But I'm not going to any tournaments. I just gotta hope she doesn't put an energy on Seeking and hit me with the waterfall. Thank God. Because that would have been bad. Because then I would have been at 50 damage. So. Um, I realized I never actually finished my story early. <laughs> uh, so basically, when I first got this game, I played it to where I got everything except the card pop cards. Um, which is a Mew and a Venusaur that were special to the Game Boy. And a buddy of mine ended up getting the game. Ryan. Ryan, if you're watching this, I mean you. You know which Ryan. And I missed a card popped with him... Gotta be about 20 times. Just card pop. But I got it! I got it. And to me, that's the important thing. This is coming down to the wire. At least I got Magneton, so I can fight back still. I can either put out Raichu, take another bite, and then switch. I'll put out Magneton. I, didn't I just get an energy from a prize? Yes. So, and now Magneton can... But it's not affected by weakness and resistance. That's a jerk move. So. Anyways, the whole point was just, I must have card popped with him so much. Like, I was obsessed with the concept of getting those cards. But I got them. And I had a Game Boy file that had every single possible card. And it made me muy happy. That would have been so handy earlier in the game. I can defend her and buy myself a turn. I will do that. 
with Venusaur now able to maneuver my energy around, I can kind of put it on whoever can try and combat this thing. So I got another... I got a lot of room left. I'm coming into the wire on this. Woo! I am clenching. Okay. Who do I even got left in the deck? I'll grab Kangaskhan in case I need to stall out one last time. Other than that, Magnemite, or Magneton, you've done your job. The best I could ever ask you to. Magneton! The best I could hope for is if I can draw out those last few grass energy. Venusaur's got, what, 100 health? He can take two bites. And then I can switch. Pop into someone. And there it is. There it is. That's game. That is game. The only real shot I got now is if I can draw another energy and Kangaskhan and get real lucky. Let's go for it. Peanut for power! Black Does Pokemon just say their name, you see? Does that make sense? Oh, give me an energy, give me an energy. Nothing I got has free retreat costs. So the best I got is... If I get an energy... And I'm game. That's game. I'm sorry, folks. I really thought I could beat her. That one was close. And that one hurts a lot. Even if I potion, he dies. That's game. Alright, Cape Dad fam! Well, I'm not gonna put you through any more torture. I am going to, uh... What I may need to do is just go to, like, the Rock Club and fight the members there. And come back to her when I have a few more good lightning cards. Because this ain't working. Her deck is just too well-tuned and mine isn't. So, Alright guys, I'm going to go to the Rock Club. Let me see if Ishihara is there. Yeah, he is. Hey, I'm Ishihara. Nice to meet you. Do you know I'm Ishihara? I love cards. Alright guys, I'm sorry about this. Uh, I'm going to go... So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the Rock Club. I am going to retool my deck on the next episode. I'll remove the Lightning because Lightning would be a big disadvantage here. But um, I'll try taking on the Rock Club and then, and then I'll go back and get my revenge on the next episode. All right? Thank you guys for putting up with me losing. At least I won it first. But uh, thank you guys for being here for me. Uh, hit me with a like or a dislike, depending on how you feel. Let me know if there's anything you want to hear. Let me know! Let me know! Shout out below! What's your favorite Pokemon? I'm curious. I know mine. 
I will reveal it next time, but let me know what's yours, all right? Leave a comment down below. I'm kind of curious, because I hear plenty of different answers. Um, and I will restrict it to Gen 1 for now. And in the future, I'm going to ask different generations. But for right now, of the original 151, what's your favorite? Let me know. All right? Thanks, guys. Catch you later, Game Dad fam. <laughs>